Hello there. How are you guys doing? Okay, so today uh, we have brought an instrumental track. Not exactly an instrumental, um, but this is one of my personal favorites, which I listen to um, a lot. I mean, I already have mentioned that Adat uh, triggered the journey of my musical exploration. So this was instrumental done with Nescafe Basement. Um, it has 27 million views. I think I am responsible for around a million because I have <laughs> listened to it too much. Um, but yeah, I wanted to listen it together with you all. So shall we get started then? Let's do it. Let's do it. Three, two, one, play. much tease. They have brought everything. <laughs> Sitar. Uh. <laughs>
the way they are doing the half portion with the instruments. किस्मत की लकीर हाथों में दिखता था वो प्यार तेरी ही आदत कुछ पड़ सी गई चाहत का ऐसा था खुमार नींद न आए रातों में क्यों बिछड़े लम्हों को लौटा दे तू a mashup yeah it is not exactly instrument but i think they have named it like this other instrument so other this instrument har jagah hai jal har jagah hai jal har jagah hai jal har jagah It's a right. long track. <clears throat> yeah. I can uh, share that when this came out, Hamad actually went crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember very starkly. Yeah. And uh, at that time, you were in Dubai, as far as mm. I remember. Mm. Yes. And um, uh, I remember you telling me that all your colleagues... uh from all the nationalities there uh were in love with this track and uh, yeah them. you were head over heels mm yeah absolutely Te- tell me why do you love this so um i'm being repetitive but <clears throat> adat i think if anyone ask me one track um which is my all time favorite i i know i mean it's it's nearly impossible to single out one track but adat has a special place in my heart so i i always loved adat um from 
I distinctly remember that I was uh, 14 years of age. I think I was in ninth class when I heard that track first time um, in Atif's voice. And um, Jal was uh, the band at that moment with Atif and Kaur. So that track always had a special place in my heart because of the memory that it brought back. And when when uh, Nescafe Basement announced that they are going to do an instrumental version of this particular track, um, I was a bit skeptical, honestly. Um, first of all, because there have been many renditions done for the other uh, by Atif. Um, Atif sang a couple of more versions in Bollywood as well, which I did not personally like. Then there was a version Important. from Farhan. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So the original, none of the tracks could justify the original. And when I listened to this particular track, the instrumental version, I was blown away. This is probably the second best version of Adat uh, that I had listened. Um, and you, you are spot on. I was in Dubai at that point in time. And I used to listen it every single day after coming back from office, even during the commute as well. I just used to listen to this track on repeat mode and it's just so nostalgic and i just want to share an anecdote about it i i tweeted um regarding this particular track and zulfi actually liked my tweet so that was also kind of a memory that stuck with me that okay okay i star on my shoulder now <laughs> i got a like from zulfi <laughs> Oh, but this was beautiful. Always, always. This is going to be a beautiful track. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna come out straight that I don't mm. like this at all, at all. Uh, mm. th there are parts which I like, but there are parts and very uh, small parts which sparks some emotion in me some interest in me <clears throat> mm. and then then it they proceed with bars that they just kill whatever that was building up so that's this this is how i feel every time I've, i hear this and to be honest i'm hearing this for i don't know third time maybe fourth time mm. and personally personally it just never sat with me well I just could mm. never digest this. Um, th I mean, they did something very interesting uh, in the beginning, in the beginning four minutes part, where they gave each instrument to do mm. a solo mm. on the other chords and notes, right? There were uh, sarangi, rebab, flute, mm. violins, saxophone, synths, mm. mandolin, sitar, Acoustic guitar, classical guitars, electronic guitars, everything, every mm. single thing, right? Uh, and each major instrument had a go at it. Mm. Uh, while while the, there were two constants, the bass and the keys were constant in the background, but mm. each major instrument had a, a go at, at Adat itself. And yeah, the, the tempo for each instrument was different is what I couldn't digest. It felt like the tempo for each instrument, the intro tempo was different, then the beginning tempo was different and the instruments were changing the tempo and then suddenly the tempo picks up and suddenly it dies down. And uh, I, I'm, I feel like I'm pissing on something you love mm -hmm. <laughs> very much. <laughs> No, I, I mean, it, it's it's absolutely subjective. Um, why I love it so much is that um, Zulfi actually has a knack of giving tribute to his peers, which is something yes. which yes. you do not find that often. So you always find people competing against each other. Uh, we saw it in Kitni Sadia when we did for Nescafe Basement. Um, there as well, he created his own version of Kitni Sadia with... Uh, uh, Faraz Anwar in the back um, and here he wanted to just give a tribute to one of the most iconic songs which he himself loved because yeah. um, 
I was looking at the behind the scenes of this particular track and all the musicians of the house band, they were probably in their teenage when Adat came out. And every one of them were so excited to do this particular track because that was the melody that they grew up listening to. Um, and here in the description as well, it, it says that it's a nostalgia trip. And I, I agree kind of that they have tried to recreate the feeling of nostalgia with this particular rendition. And not only that, I mean, Adat is done instrumentally, but <clears throat> they also gave a space to Gohar to showcase his other track, which is Bhavre. He just did well, a bit of part of it. And the last thing, which I personally like, um, their track, Har Jaga Hai Jal, which was part of the first album of Jal, which, um, which was the last track of their album, when not many people know that. And it was basically the identity of Jal that they wanted to communicate through music that Jal is everywhere. They wanted to dream uh, when they were, I think, 20s, early 20s. They they were dreaming big at that moment. So <clears throat> they gave, gave that particular track um, a space in the end as well as a tribute because that particular track mm -hmm. had a special space for the Jal fans as well. So that's why I personally like this particular rendition because they tried to recreate and give tribute to uh, the uh, the melody of gel for which they were known for. For for me, I mean Nescafe Basement always or Zulfi's version of Nescafe Basement. We know that uh, Nescafe Basement elsewhere in other countries uh, do similar kind of shows. What Zulfi does, uh, his motivation behind everything is actually grooming the musicians mm -hmm. and giving them a space. Right. Mm -hmm. So I am all in and I respect that. I, I love that he does that. He give them a space. He let them perform. Right. Showcase their talent. And for which I have utmost respect. In certain specific cases, in this one, for example, it, the, my bias is mostly towards the song and melody itself, not Hmm. what Zulfi did. Okay. You know, so Zulfi, Zulfi's, yeah, right, he, he does that. I mean, he revere musicians. Uh, if you hmm. if you listen to him talk about Abda Parveen, Nasibo Lal, hmm. and all them, all of those legend, legends, he revere them. He has so much respect, even for Sherry hmm. and Bilawal and, and other kids, Abdullah Siddiqui. He talks about them in, in a manner that he he not only has admiration for them and respect for them but he it's it's kind of like he, he's a parental fatherly figure you know mm -hmm. he has his fatherly many... love and he's so proud of the younger generation he reveres the older generation and it shows mm -hmm. my problem with this particular track is mostly around the the song itself and the melody itself but also i have my biases because of Adat, right? Uh, the Adat mm. itself, again, we have talked about it, that the song that we grew up listening to and then somebody remakes it, it's very, very difficult to digest. Mm. And in mm. very, very rare cases that you would like the new rendition. Absolutely. As I mentioned in the beginning, many versions of Adat were done by Atif in Bollywood as well. There were remixes and whatnot. And I did not like any, any one of them. And it's, I would always go to the original track and prefer that. But yeah, this, this particular track is kind of a track which I can listen to every night before sleeping because it calms me down for some reason. Especially, especially the signature tune that is being played um, on different instruments. I love when it was done on sitar, um, the way it kicked off. So that was just phenomenally done. So, yeah, I, I would have bias towards this particular rendition as well, always. And yeah, that's about it. Alrighty. All right. Thank you so much for listening it up with, with us together. And yeah, do share your feedback and comment about this, this rendition of Father. And whatever you like or dislike about this particular track. And we will see you on the next one then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.